this example, I want to look at creating a um, rounded flange coming off of this edge. And obviously, if you just do a normal flange, then um, you know there's no way of making that rounded. So there are a couple of options here. So we can go to a contour flange, and I can pick up on that bottom edge, starting at the front edge. And um, your automatic thought is to do a you know like a three point arc that is like this, and you just put in your angle. The problem here is that once you've um, come out of here, you notice that you've got an error, and that's telling me that there's a zero thickness manifold body. But the real problem is that it is um, not got a radius on there, so the contour flange doesn't give you the radius. So if we go back in and um, select all and delete, so what we're looking at doing is creating a, a tangent arc off of this edge here. And uh, if I just enter in a sort of angle here, not too worried about the size at this stage. And then the next one's going to be um, tangent again. So once we've decided how we want to do it, I can put a dimension on there. Pop that back to two. Uh, you notice that relationship has gone. Um, I can also really, if I want to, put a um, angular relationship on here. So make that 75, and then I can put a horizontal vertical constraint between the bottom and the top end of that arc, and then dimension it through to say 200. So that creates the profile, and as you can see, that now works sort of as, as expected, and you end up with a um, nice curved flange. Now where this option falls over is if you then want to flatten it, um, I'm just going to do the um, unbend. So what, what you end up with is, is something that is um, still bent. So there is a sort of workaround for this um, that we can do. And it's basically the same sort of thing, but I'm going to use the flange command. Uh, sorry, flange. And in here, I want to specify that two mil bend radius. So I'm going to change my default. And what we're looking for is, is to give a set starting point, um, we can put in the 75 mil angle to start with. Uh, sorry, that'll be um, 105. So that's coming out, and let's get rid of that. And the length we're looking for going here is something really small, so it's just enough to um, give us that flange with the bend. And as you can see, we've got a really small uh, area in there. So then we can do the same thing again. You've got to make sure that you're getting the right edge. Um, and what we're doing now is rather than taking um, that value there, we're going to put in a bend radius of 200. and then extend out. And I'm not too worried about how far down that is. So we've finished that off. So then what we can do is we can do a um, cut out. On this front edge. So what we're looking at doing is taking um, a point here that comes from that top edge. 
to give me my um, intersection point in here. And what I'm going to do is make that perpendicular uh, with this one here. So that gives me that cutting plane. So once I've created my geometry, I can then um, use the trim command and cut away the bottom half. Like so, so we still get the same same effect with that um, curved flange. But um, if we go in and do a flatten, keeping that there, that now gives me a fully developed um, part. So I hope you find this interesting and um, maybe find some use for it in the future.